So a very interesting turn of events. The Magic 30th anniversary was restocked for 30 minutes. Now, it could be a error or it could be restocked for big companies like MN Holdings as well as Amazon, maybe eBay, maybe whatnot. The special thing about this particular setup, which only lasted for half an hour, was no one actually knew about it. Now, of course, Magic players being Magic players, they accidentally stumbled upon it. They kept refreshing, but there was no announcement this sale would ever be made. Now, for a company that spent hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars advertising this over a month, it makes no sense that they would then not advertise the second drop, if you will, which is today on a Wednesday. So, number one, doesn't make sense because of Tuesday gap, right? They Cyber monday and then they didn't tell anyone, and then randomly it dropped for half an hour on a Wednesday at a random time. Now, if you knew about this time, you supposedly could check out that this was a real deal, that you, if anyone not that any of the redditors did because of course they're too smart to check out but i would have done so I, if i had known i would have tested out whether or not this was real because if it was real which a lot of people are saying it was a real checkout and they have additional supply that means they probably told remember the idea that i had in yesterday's video about nihilism and nepotism they probably told some people, hey, we have another time slot. Just go on at this time slot. Maybe we'll have more inventory. Maybe there's no limits to the inventory, perhaps. And perhaps they told their partners. And then the Amazons, the Ebays, the Card Kingdoms, they log on today for half an hour. They put in half an hour is more than enough time, right? Actually, it is almost the same amount of time that it took the first one to sell out. So this is pretty interesting. It definitely is one of the more fascinating turn of events. And I can tell you from experience that websites do have these additional sales, you know, from secret logins. I mean, these are the drops. You talk about Supreme, you talk about Bape. Yeah, there's a, re there's a reason one dude on Instagram has a picture of all the best sneakers or the newest sneaker drop. He is, uh, it's called backdooring. And I would not surprise me at all if Magic the Gathering decided it was a good idea for celebrities like Post Malone, for Steve Aoki, for Hunter Pence, for Cassius Marsh. Hey, we're going to tell you guys a special time. Don't tell anyone because it only is going to benefit you, a small group of people. And you will have a different time to log in. There will be no limits. You guys buy whatever you want. It will probably even be on discount. It's kind of like, oh, maybe they even have discount coupons at this point in time. <laughs> Who do you know? How do you know they don't have discount coupons when they enter it? It goes to zero. Just fascinating. Definitely a strange turn of events and something that I don't really know what to make out of. It could be as simple as a computer glitch. But I don't know. Once you shut this down, why would anyone else turn it back on is the question. After a day, I could understand, hey, you know, the same day somebody made a mistake. They thought it was supposed to be on and it was off. That makes sense. But like two days later, no. And not for 30 minutes. It wouldn't have taken them 30 minutes to figure this out. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think happened. Tin foil hats, right?